When the middle schooler took too long ambling back from a bathroom break during the middle of class, she met face to face with an unexpected consequence. She was given a detention. The young lady simply had a lot on her mind and needed a few extra minutes of alone time to quiet her thoughts. A detention hardly seemed a fitting punishment for what was basically an attempt to silence stress. Now, in detention, she would enter more stress. This is unfair, she thought. But what could be done about it? Hi, I'm Garvin DeShazer, and this is your Daily Inspiration. In the northwest urban nook of Baltimore, Maryland, the Robert W. Coleman Elementary School has seen its share of kids in trouble. Some of our children are homeless, says Principal Carillion Thomas. Many come from broken homes. Some of them don't have lights in their houses or food. Occasionally, the school sees children whose parents are incarcerated. I've had a kid come in and look at me straight in the face with no emotions and say, my grandfather got shot yesterday, says staff member Andres Gonzalez. So you can imagine what these kids have to face. Determined to cultivate an environment in which students felt safe, the school partnered with a nonprofit organization to create a, quote, mindful moment room. It's a purple space strewn with essential oils, yoga mats, and plush pillows. There, the children practice deep breathing, stretching, and yoga positions. Now, instead of detention, kids who act out are sent to the mindful moment room. Afterward, they meet with a staff member to discuss their feelings, what led them to act out, and healthier ways to respond. Many of the students have discovered that these discussions not only cleared their anger, but brought clarity to their studies. It gives you good confidence when you need to do something important, says one student age 9. Research agrees. A study published in 2014 in the Journal of the American Medical Association Internal Medicine demonstrated that, quote, mindfulness meditation, when combined with counseling, can help reduce overall anxiety, stress, and the body's flight-or-fight response while increasing mental focus. Research on its effects on children is still underway. Most kids who are sent to the Mindful Moment Room have not enacted violence or taken extreme measures, but have simply been rowdy or disruptive in class. These are kids who are enduring masses of pain and are screaming for someone to pay attention to them. What they need is not punishment, but understanding. They need to know that someone cares. And the staff at Robert W. Coleman Elementary School is doing just that. Talking to the staff really made a difference, says one boy. Afterward, I calmed myself down, got myself together, and apologized to the class. His experience is not a singular event. With the installment of the Mindful Moment Room, the school has noticed dramatic shifts. The students' focus has improved, their grades have increased, and in the last year, not one suspension has had to be issued. It's made a huge impact says Principal Thompson. And little wonder. While the meditation and stretching may have been calming, it's safe to say what made the real difference for these students was that someone cared about them. Rather than being told they are an inconvenience that needs to be managed to make the teacher's lives easier, these kids got to hear the message that their pain matters, that they matter, and that they are worth helping. Soon, a ripple effect emerged. The students planned and facilitated several community cleanups, set up greening projects in their homes, and constructed a raised bed vegetable garden at their school. It's like karma, says one fifth grade boy. If I do something bad, like punch somebody in the jaw, something bad's going to happen to me. But if I do something good, good stuff will happen. So, how did the Robert W. Coleman Elementary School succeed in turning conventional discipline on its head and foster happy, successful students? The staff first identified the core problem. The children feel stressed and unloved. 
they then diligently addressed the problem, and they persisted in listening instead of doing what was easier in the moment. As it turns out, even though it may take just a little longer in the short term, caring is proving to be far more efficient and effective than punishing in the long run. What can you do today to better pay attention to the people around you? What can you do to genuinely listen to people who are hurting rather than just choose a temporary fix? If you're the one that's hurting, what will you do to receive the genuine support and listening you need? Can you affirm, I am committed to caring for and listening to someone today? Thanks for listening. May your day be filled with love, laughter, and joy. Bye for now. Hi, this is Scott, producer for the Daily Inspirations podcast. We hope you're enjoying these stories, and if you'd like more inspiration in your life, visit MyDailyIAm.com. You can find weekend blog posts, sign up for our email update list, and you can let us know about an inspirational story you'd like us to cover. Or just say hi. We'd love to hear from you.